We all stand here united uh, in strong opposition to the announcement made by Secretary Gates today about the decision to close Joint Forces Command. This is a, uh, a very bad decision, in my opinion, not only for Virginia, but for the United States military. We are in a two-front war right now with Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, we have uh, other nations, China, Korea, uh, with military buildups. And I don't think we can afford uh, to be going through a process outside of BRAC, outside of the QDR, to dramatically reduce uh, the forces here in the United States of America. I certainly, as my colleagues have said, appreciate the fact that the Secretary of Defense is trying to find ways to rein in spending and spend our defense dollars more efficiently and more wisely. But a decision the likes of a proposal to eliminate an entire command has to be based on military value and on a proper business case and a risk assessment. And that assessment has not been provided. Eliminating Joint Forces Command doesn't eliminate the need for the critical missions that the command performs. GIFCOM exercises combatant command over 1.1 million U.S. forces. The critical functions and training provided are necessary to maintain our warfighter supremacy in overseas operations. And if we can't do away with the demands that created GIFCOM in the first place, it's hard to see how eliminating the command itself accomplishes much in terms of savings in the defense budget. Um, and then the final thing uh, that I'll just, um, I think is so egregious, and this is one of the things that all of our members can agree on, is how in the world the secretary can come up with a straight face and say they want to cut dollars and they're willing to cut a command as valuable as the Joint Forces Command and then still look you in the eye and say they're willing to spend a billion dollars to send a carrier to Mayport, Florida when every single bit of testimony we have before the Armed Services Committee is we don't need to do that. That just baffles us. So we're going to be in a united front trying to stop that.